particularly in the creative department, so where the ideas are actually formed. There are a number of really big issues. Number one is you progress by the awards that you win and the noise that's made around your work within the industry. But again, when you are speaking to a culture of men, the humour is masculine. Things that are awarded come from a masculine perspective. And so it perpetuates itself. I also think there is, you know, there's an issue with what is seen as good leadership. So that kind of classic alpha male, I need to sign everything off and that's not good enough, do it again. And, you know, the very aggressive creative leader has always been seen as the good leader. So a lot of women, when they get further on in their careers, really suffer from that lack of aggression, I guess. So we haven't really moved on from Mad Men. No. We haven't, unfortunately. We, some, there are some brilliant progressive creative agencies who have. But, but on the whole. But on the whole, it's still a little bit rubbish out there. Let's just talk about this alpha male stereotype. Is it not increasingly difficult for that type of character to motivate and retain talent? I think it's incredibly difficult to motivate and retain talent. I, actually, one of the other things I have done is co-founded something called the Great British Diversity Experiment, which was the largest practical experiment in diverse creativity and why it works and why, if we know it works and it's good, why isn't it being implemented? We had 20 teams, we had 40 mentors, you know, a couple of hundred people all working on a brief. And uh, one of the things that we found are the teams that really rose to the top had what we call clear enablers as the mentors. So what does that mean? They gave clarity to the teams, but they enabled the teams to make their own decisions. Like That is successful, motivating leadership, but it's just not what we're used to. So what you've got are these alpha male types mm -hmm. at the moment, and they need a totally different emotional skill set. Because at the moment, it's giving a ballerina a pair of rugby boots. Because you're saying, look, you need to be able to motivate in a different way. You need to be able to grow people. You need to, be able to ask about their mental health, how they're developing as a human being. You say that. Uh, to the alpha male, he looks at you and thinks you're weak. And we've got this sort of relic, this Victorian relic, certainly in the UK. And all the stuff that I've just talked about is seen as absolutely, you know, a, a tertiary, not even secondary to business. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, it's very bad management. You know, it's appallingly demotivating for people to be working under that system. But it's just something that has been repeated and people don't, haven't until recently really questioned that that's the right way.